other day. I, I agree saw it you. on Facebook. And what you do is you get yourself some ham and you get yourself some nice cheese. Uh, not not like just regular American cheese. All of that. I guess you could use that, but I get got like some Gouda and things of that sort. And you put the ham and the cheese down and slice it into like little strips. And then you take the chi- you can bread the chicken breast. And then you slice it down the center. By this point, it's looking really rude. But don't worry about that. You then stuff the chicken. You take the strips of ham and cheese. And you put them in the slot of the chicken in the center. And then you get yourself some uh, white sauce. Get yourself a nice blanc sauce. And you pour that. I like the Parmesan Alfredo. Mm, Pour that over top of the uh the cheese in that open wound of the chicken then you get yourself some parmesan cheese and cover it all up sprinkle it put it in the oven bake it on hey guys welcome back to binging with stefan where today we're going to be ending this joke before it's even started hello everyone it has been 10 years tomorrow to the day since skyrim came out and one year tomorrow to the day since we streamed with west johnson and on that day a certain person by the name of Enthused Norseman asked him a question. What is your favorite chicken recipe? To which Wes gave the stunning answer. Today we're going to be making it. I've got chicken breast, smoked gouda, some ham. I got uh, creamy basil alfredo, some panko breadcrumbs, uh, eggs, salt, pepper. And then two of my favorite sides in Skyrim, the game. We've got grilled leeks, eventually going to be grilled garlic bread. We've got our leeks washed. We've got the water boiling or about to boil or just turn it on. Oven preheating for the garlic bread and got this bad boy, the air fryer for our chicken, which we are going to prep now. I'm trying to recreate this recipe as best as I can without looking for the original Facebook recipe. That's part of my challenge here. Um, And the first thing Wes Johnson mentioned with the chicken was to bread it. So he said, bread it and then stuff it. I'm pretty sure that was just an accident because I can't think of a way to bread it and then stuff it. So I'm going to stuff it and then bread it. So I'm going to like partially butterfly this chicken. Um, He did say this would look a little interesting. Um, (laughs) Thank you, Wes. Uh, And we're going to do the same thing with the slightly bigger breast. Uh, We're going to hope that stays together when I'm breading it. All right, time to stuff our chicken. He specifically said strips of cheese and ham, which is exactly what I'm doing. I'm just gonna be cutting this smoked gouda into strips. Now we're slicing up the ham, same thing. I got uh, about six slices, seven slices of deli ham here. And I'm just slicing about the same. All right, it's time. Uh, As Wes said, we are going to place these things into the wound of the chicken. I don't really know what I'm doing here. I'm just going on instinct here. So I'm just placing some cheese and some ham into this crevice. There we go. A little little sandwich. Don't do that. (laughs) Don't do that at all. Final thing to add. We got some creamy basil alfredo, which is kind of like a pesto alfredo. It smells really good. I'm excited. Um, He said just use your favorite white sauce. He said Parmesan alfredo was his favorite. I'm going with that. Pesto Alfredo. The thing I am most worried about, which is breading this thing, so uh, they're looking pretty dangerous right now. So we're just going to plonk it down into this flour that I've seasoned with salt and pepper. Whoa, stay in there, ham. There's got to be a way to do this better. (laughs) I'm not sure, but we're going to put that over to this thing now. So messy. We're going to douse it in egg wash. I lost a piece of ham there. That's okay. And then, oh no, it's a piece of cheese. Less well, okay. I'm gonna walk it over on these panko breadcrumbs, and everything's spilling out. So I gotta stuff it back in there. Breadcrumbs and everything. <laughs> bon appetit. Stefan, why don't you just like have the chicken on the plate, take the flour, and sprinkle the flour onto the chicken and not even pick up the chicken? It wouldn't be fun that way. Oh god. Oh Jesus. <laughs> hey! It's 
like that scene in Macbeth where he can't wash the blood off his hands. It is air frying time. These take about 20 minutes is what he said. Um, I'm not confident in that number. 165 is the poultry temperature. So. Yeah, the back door here. Let the people see. Putting it in there. Um, we're gonna do 20 minutes at 400. And there we go. <laughs> All right, leaks are going in. I'm gonna try to keep them as together as possible. Although, I think I could have done this better. We're only part boiling these because we're gonna grill them the rest of the way. So we're just gonna get them soft. Our part cooked and a little messy, but it's okay. We're just going to drain them on a paper towel. Ow, that they just came out of boiling water and hit my thumb. Ow! Ow, ow, ow! Please stop filming. <laughs> okay, we are four minutes in and this kitchen already smells amazing. I got some olive oil heating up in the pan on medium high heat and I like, I don't have a grill. I live in an apartment on the second floor. Look, look outside. Second floor apartment. Second floor. I. Oh, there's me. Oh no. There, there you are. I, I don't have a grill. All right. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna saute these bad boys. But we're gonna. It's not very based. But yeah. How are you feeling right now, Stefan? Like my eyes might leak. Ooh. I, I, I promise I'm completely sober. All right, and these are gonna cook until until uh, until uh, browned and lovely. As this kitchen gets noisier and noisier, last thing we have to do is chuck this pre-made garlic bread into this oven. I can make my own garlic bread. I just I'm, I'm making other things right now. I can make my own garlic bread. If you want to make your own garlic bread, get a good slice of bread, get some butter, soften the butter, crush in a whole bunch of garlic, maybe a few herbs if you want, mix it all up, and just spread it on the bread, bake it at like 350 until nice and crispy, and it will be delicious. You can see you got some brown spots coming here. You can check underneath. Oh, ho, ho. That's a Skyrim grilled leek right there. That is a Skyrim grilled leek. Last thing we do is we're finishing up. Put a little bit of salt on there, get some pepper. Turn it off, put it to the side, stir it around a little bit. Boom, we just got some grilled leeks. Chickens are halfway through. Looking fine, I might add. So we're just going to take them and flip them. Timer just went off. Looking quite good. Uh, I'm gonna check the temperature real quick. I'll be right back. All right, so they needed about five minutes longer uh, So we cooked them for 25 minutes instead of 20. Wow juice leaking out sauce leaking out I should say not juice. They're gonna be on top of a bed of grilled leeks um, Surrounded by garlic bread as they should be in the piece de resistance So, happy birthday Skyrim, thank you Wes Johnson for the recipe, and have a great day.